Hey, what's up everybody? The day before 2024 Tops Update releases, I thought it would be cool to go through some print run numbers. So it's going to be a quick video. Uh, the guy that I follow on Twitter, at Tops Production BB, has posted the approximate number of cards per player per set. Um, I have no affiliation with this guy. It's just somebody I've followed on Twitter for years. Somebody who basically takes the time to break this stuff down. I have no interest in the numbers portion of it, <clears throat> but I feel like you guys should know uh, what amount of cards are in each format. So let's get started right here, right away. Like I said, short video. We're just going to get right into it. The 350 card set, the base cards, 416,761. It sounds like a lot of cards. It is a lot of cards. Keep in mind, that is literally half of the print run of Series 1. I think Series 1 was up around 800,000 base cards. So, this is your friendly reminder. Day 1 of eBay, when everybody's ripping update, do not go out and buy a Paul Skeens base rookie. Just don't do it. Don't ever buy a Paul Skeens base rookie until the price starts to level off. I'll never forget 2022... Series 1, the Wander Franco to catch a Predator chase. His base rookies were going for like $10, like the day of release day. Just don't make that mistake. Um, the, the prices will come down. I won't even have Skeen's base rookies available on my website for that reason. I don't want to price gouge anybody. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. So hold off on buying base rookies. But the good news is there's only 416000 compared to over 800000 the yellows, you're going to get these from hanger boxes, 3,700. That's also a drastic, almost every number is cut in half. 3,700 for the yellows. And the yellow foil, which is also hanger exclusive, 177. That's awesome. So those yellow foil cards, when you pull one, they're non-numbered. They're, they're super low. They're lower than a red foil. Those red foils that are numbered to 199, the yellows are more rare than that. So keep that in mind, even though they're not numbered. You got to have these in your head, these numbers in your head. Gold foils, which are hobby exclusive, 573. It's also a fantastic number. Aquas, which are Fanatics exclusive, 898. Royal Blues, which you'll get in retail for all retail formats, 2,304, which is, that's not even bad for a blue. And we'll get to one of the blue uh, inserts that I like a lot later. Um, something to keep in mind if you're going to sell those inserts. And rainbow foils, there's always a bunch of rainbow foils, 3,554. Now, another key, golden mirrors, 72 per card. That's great. Uh, golden mirror is always up over 100, sometimes near 200 for the print run. So 72, there's going to be a very limited number. That's, that's more rare than a vintage stock. So there's going to be a very limited number of golden mirrors for the big guys. Scrolling up here, inserts. Let him cook. 25 card set, 16,000. You can see these are all almost the same. Mystical's a little heavier. <clears throat> Excuse me. Autumn Tales, 50 card set, 16,000. Same with all class. The All Star Game sets, I mean, it's always going to be a super high print run. 63,000 on the All Star set. Don't forget that used to be included in the base set. Now it's its own insert set, but you get a lot of those in a pack. Tops Black Gold is 25 cards. That's my favorite insert set of this year. I can't wait to build that one out. 16,600. And Mystical is 22,000. So a little bit uh, more of a print run than the rest of these. Continuing up, this is what I wanted to talk about. Blues. I say this all the time when I pull blues on camera. When you pull an insert that is a blue, you need to keep in mind how low the print run is on it. As you can see... They're all 620 to 619 for print runs. Every single one of these inserts, including the All-Star Game inserts, which, yeah, we know there's a million, 63,000 base cards. There's still only 619 of the blues out there. So don't undervalue your blues, I guess is what I'm saying. When you pull an insert, they're tough. I rip case after case of products, and sometimes in cases, maybe I get three or four of these blue inserts. So they're very difficult I just want everybody to keep that in mind. When you're selling them, don't undervalue. Don't undercut yourself. Those blues have good value. We have Stratospheric Stars, 
10 card set. 1034. I thought that was going to be more rare because I could have swore that um, on the Beckett checklist, they said that was a more rare insert. I mean, it's obviously more rare than the base inserts, but that's not very rare. 1034. So not super rare for those. Silver, silver Crackle Foil Board. Um, every card has one of those, 898. The foil boards, those are, I believe they're talking about the um, Mega Box exclusives. And the Holiday Parallels are back. So base parallel, 3,387. Not, it's actually not terrible for a base Holiday Parallel. It's not a crazy print run. But when you get down to the more rare ones like Jack-O-Lantern and Ghost, you can see very low print run, 469. And Ghost is at 178, which is more rare than a numbered red foil. So super interesting there. Let's go here. We got Home Field Advantage, 20 card set on the Home Field Advantage, 2043. That is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I want to see that set at. Home Field Advantages have been between seven to 10,000 cards. It's too many. They de completely devalue the home field advantage. I think now you're going to see the prices on those stay a little higher. There's not going to be as many in circulation with only 2,000 out there. And obviously, legendary home field is almost an impossible pull. They're super tough. 103 for a print run for those, which is nice. 89 tops, Stars of MLB. We, these, you know, you're getting these in every almost every pack, so you know they're going to be high. I thought it was uh, interesting that 89 tops is a little less than the All-Star game, 59,000. I thought it would be around the same. It's not that much of a difference. But Stars will be 406,822. That's crazy when you consider, if we scroll back down here, the base card is 416,000. So that is an insane number. It almost didn't even, when I looked at it, it didn't even make sense to me that it could be 406,822, but... For a 25-card set, uh, <laughs> there's going to be a million of those out there. So don't buy a – if there's a Paul Skeens, I didn't even look. Don't buy that one either. And the MLB Chromes, significantly more desirable, 34171 for the Stars MLB Chrome. Continuing on here, material relics. So these are non-numbered relics, the regular relics that you pull, 1108 all-Star Stitches, those are always more rare. I always like those ones the way they look as well. 550. 89 Tops Relic, again, they're, you pull those as much as you do the Major League Material ones. And you can see they're actually 1,418. You're going to pull those more often than Major League Materials now. And Rising Rookies Relic, I have not looked that up to see what that looks like, but I like the sound of it. Uh, 822, so a little bit less for those. Then we have the autographs. This is the last part of this. Baseball Stars Auto. There's 56 cards in the Baseball Stars. Those are usually interesting because you usually have like super, super low-end autographs. And then you have some high-end ones mixed in there. Only 227 of those for the non-numbered. You have the 2024 MLB All-Star Auto. 214 of those. And the 1989 Tops Auto. 252. What I thought was interesting about that is when I think of the 89 Tops Auto, you, a lot of times when I pull autos of that, I pull the Black Parallel. The Black Parallels are numbered to 199. They're not that much more rare than, according to these numbers. Again, I didn't double check these or anything like that because um, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to any of that. I'm not going to lie. But the 89 Tops being 252, it just means the blacks, the blacks to 199. I think people think those are way more rare than the regular autos, the base autos, but according to these, they might not be. So I found that to be uh, to be pretty interesting. But yeah, go give him a follow again. Tops Production BB at Tops BB on Twitter. Um, basically, you know, and if he if he gets some numbers wrong, the nice part is is he'll send out a tweet and kind of do adjustments as he gets more information in. But I thought those were really interesting numbers. The big thing to highlight, again, the lead, the home field advantages, way lower print run, only 2,000 per card, which is way better. It's also like if you can get one of those Gem Mint 10, huge value increase. The population count's going to be super low. They're foil cards. 
They're hard to get gem mint. And now we know they have a lower print run. That's amazing. Um, and also the blues. Again, these blue inserts, don't cut yourself short. Those blue inserts are going to be super valuable. I love pulling those because I always know, hey, if it's perfect, it's hard to get those perfect too because it's chipping. But if it's perfect, low print run on those blue inserts. So I'm super excited. I'm hoping that tomorrow I will be able to rip on release day. Hopefully that gets here. Can't wait to share it with you guys. If you want to keep following along with all the content, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.